Hi everyone. So today's agenda is how to call a flow from Lightning Web component, and that too not directly when the component loads. I don't want to call the flow the then and there. I want to call it on a button click. So when I click on a button that is made in LWC component, that is when I want to call a flow. So let's see how to do that. So let's start from here. I've created a sample flow over here whose name is flow from LWC. Let me open that flow. Okay. So it is a very, very simple flow. All I've done is first of all, I came here and created a new resource. I've created a variable and the variables API name is account ID. A is small, I is capital. It is of data type text and the most important thing that you need to do is available for in because this is that variable in which I'll be passing some value from LWC to this flow. So this variable in the flow is going to receive a value from LWC. So that is why I'm saying make it available for input from outside. The next thing that I've done is I've just created a screen and on that screen, I'm just displaying the account ID is and then that variable that I got from here, here it is, okay? So that is it, that's it that we have done. Now let's go to our Lightning Web Component. So let us create a new Lightning Web Component. Okay, so here we have our lightning web component. Let me go ahead and add the meta first. Okay, so we have added the meta. Now, what we are going to do is First of all, we want to call a flow, right? So the how to call the flow is you need to create a tag called lightning flow, which would actually call a flow. So I've created a lightning tag. Now there are three attributes in this flow, lightning flow tag. The first is flow API name. So they, here we will give the name of the flow that we are going to call the API name of the flow. Then here is the list of all the input variables that we are passing from LWC to our flow. And the third one is on status change. So whenever a flow starts or a flow finishes or a flow is in progress, the status changes accordingly. So whenever the status changes from one status to another, this would be uh, handled and on status chain, we are calling this particular method. Let me just save this and uh, let me create it within a card. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and uh, write the code in our JavaScript. So first of all, what are we going to need is the current accounts ID. So for that, like I'm going to create a quick action from which I'm going to call this LWC. So that quick action would be on the account. So that accounts ID I'll be able to get by using this variable record ID if it's decorated with API. The next thing was flow API name. So I'll create a variable here called flow API name. And in that, we are going to pass the name of the flow. Okay. Okay, now the next thing is flow input variables, right? So here is where we are going to pass our variable from this LWC component to the flow. So how do we do that? We need to use a getter over here. Now what we'll do is get and whatever the name was there over here, right? Flow input variables. So I would say get flow input variables 
open close uh, circular uh, brackets then we have angular bra sorry curly braces and within that we have return and in the square bracket i am using this in a curly bracket now for each and every variable that you want to pass you could create everything within that curly bracket now if i want to pass another variable i would go something like this and in this i would pass the another variable's detail for now we are just passing one variable so there are three attributes name type and value now what is the data type of this variable that we are passing it is string and uh, what is the name of that variable in the flow so like i told you in flow we have created this resource account id right a small i capital so i have given the exact same name everything matching the case and everything over here this is the name of the variable in flow and this is something that record id is over here so i'm just saying this dot record id then we also said that whenever the flows status changes i have declared a method right over your handle flow status change so here i am just implementing that method what i am doing is simply i am printing the status of the flow i am not doing anything else for now so just saved it now what will happen here is the moment i call the lwc component it is going to call this flow right but i don't want that i want this flow to be called on the click of a button right so now how do i control that so first of all let us make a lightning button okay so we made a lightning button uh the variant is base label i would change it to call flow and on click i am calling this method called handle click now what next i am going to do is i will create a attribute in my javascript called render flow and by default make it false so now when i call the button right i am i have to implement handle click method so what i am going to do is i'll create this handle click method and what am i doing is i'm just printing the current records id and i'm making the render flow that we made over here from false to true that is it that i'm doing okay now i want that this flow should only be called when i click on the button so what i did on the click of the button is i added a property or uh, right called render flow so all i would do now is just add if true if the value of this attribute or this property that we have if it is true only then render this lightning flow else do not render so by default it is false right so first of all this won't be shown but when i click on the button that is when it would turn into true so once it is turned into true this would become true and that is why the lightning flow will be rendered so let me just show you the output now okay it is deployed successfully let's create a new action
ओके सैंपल एल डब्ल्यू सी टू okay so here we have the button now i'm clicking on the button on click of the button the lwc component got opened now let me click on call flow so now a screen flow got called on the click of a button from lwc component and now it shows us the screen flow now let's say if you want to close this model itself right on the click of this flow you want to do something in the background you don't want to show it actually so let's say if you might have used a auto launch flow instead of a screen flow you didn't want it to show this then the other option is what you could do is once the flow status changes right like here we have displayed the status right if you remember we had done a console.log so see flow status started now the one once it is finished no you see the flow status is finished so what i could do is so if it had been a you know auto launched flow you don't explicitly need to click on finish it would get finished automatically but here you had to click on the finish button to finish it so what i can do is if it is equal to finished then what i'm going to do is i want to close this pop up itself the model which is open no i want to close that so for that first we need to import close action screen event once we import that then what we could do is we could just say dispatch event and we could just close the action okay done now let's deploy okay done okay let me click on call flow and let's click on finish so you see now our model which was open got closed so that's about this video if this video helped please like at least like it share and subscribe as well please make it reach to more and more people so that it helps more and more people thank you so